Can you hear me there at the schoolhouse? <clears throat> Can you guys hear me there at the schoolhouse? So we can hear you. Hi there. Hey, Sarah. Hi guys, I just wanted to um, introduce myself to those of you I haven't had the opportunity to meet yet um, and share the background that as part of our annual um, committee liaison reshuffling, um, I am going to be joining as liaison um, to Trails and Paths this coming year. Um, so I just wanted to uh, say thank you for all to all of you for um, volunteering to participate on this committee. And I'm happy to be joining this as a new committee for me. I haven't had the opportunity in the past. And my typical protocol is that I join the committee meetings and I'm here, um, you know, as needed for questions. Um, but I generally participate by Zoom and turn my screen off because it is your meeting, but I'm here if needed. Sounds great. Thank you for joining. Great to have you. Thank you. Nice to meet you guys. All right, uh, it's nine. So let's go ahead and call the meeting to order. Yeah, okay, we have the Zoom being recorded. Okay, uh, so quick roll call. Um, Gary. Uh, <laughs> uh, Liz is, I think, not here. She might be on Zoom. Um, Joe? Yep. Jacqueline? Here. Alex is not here. Barb? Here. Welcome back. Ellie? Susan? All right, um, so we have a quorum. Uh, so we'll start with uh, any oral communications for items not on the agenda. Uh, looks like we have some folks uh, dialed into Zoom. Any hands raised? Um, we don't have anyone here. Yeah, I, uh, Fred, so just one minor thing. We have some new mics, so if you want to speak, just press on the button and so it's lit up. Yes, uh, you have Fred, to turn them on to be heard. So. Uh, in addition to, to one person in the crowd, uh, we have, uh, there's a 650-678-7562. So I'll let Fred just decide, the chair decide when to take that. Thank you. Okay. Um, Teresa, you're here in person. You get priority. Uh, just wanted to remind the committee and the public that this coming Sunday is the annual broom pull. And everyone's welcome to come and clear any broom that might be along some of our trails and paths and our um, public access routes in town. Great Come right here at nine o'clock at the schoolhouse. Awesome. Thank you, Teresa, for that reminder. Um, do we have hands raised? Uh, anyone on the, um, on the Zoom? Well, it's tough to, to raise your hand if you are on uh, the, just the phone. If you're on the phone and you have something, um, feel free to chime in right now. I do have my, I do yep. have my hand raised. Okay, go ahead. Good morning, Caroline Britongan. I'm a member of the BPTS. Um, I hope you got my uh, pictures and my email that I sent on Monday. I was surprised that the safe routes to school were not on your agenda today. So I don't know if you could make any changes or if we can uh, fit this in somewhere, trail map updates, something like that. Um, thank you for that comment. I think we've um, we've discussed our safe routes to school plan. I don't think we have any new items to discuss, which is why it's not on our agenda. I don't know, if Jack, but have you seen the pictures comment? of our trails? Yeah, um, so I think your feedback, the the pictures that you sent that uh, show some of the impact of the weather on the recent weather on the trails, um, I, I would encourage you to use PV Connect to request uh, improvements. Um, I think overall, we, if you look at the trails. Several... Okay. Sorry, go ahead. We have done that, and I 
believe I expressed that in the mail, and I, I hope Jacqueline is present and she can um, elaborate more. This has been an ongoing issue for years, and I hope that now that we have the mayor on call, um, you know, we have not seen our budget yet, but we have started, they started to indicate how much they're allocating for certain projects, and um, I think trails, especially the safe routes to school, should be a priority. Um, at every intersection, it's too muddy. The kids cannot even cross. They're standing in puddles. Um, there are cracks in the trails. Um, it's unsafe. Um, and this is not a new item. It's been going on for years, and I hope that we could take a priority on that. Thank you. Yep, I appreciate appreciate the feedback. Um, I, yeah, I was gonna say, I you got to turn your phone on. Um, I can just jump in quick. I mean, I don't think that needs its own safe route to school category. I believe what Caroline's referring to is the condition of some of the trails, which I know we can talk about when we go through the, whichever line item, the trail maintenance review. Um, so I think it's probably best to wait. I mean, I do have a couple questions myself that can be taken care of in that line item. Um, and then otherwise, as far as our actual safe routes to school map, which we've been you know, wanting to do, we know that that follows the trails map. So once, um, and there's some follow-ups from last meeting as far as where that stands. So I do think those items are being addressed. They just don't have their own agenda item. Yep, and I think um, we're aware of the, the areas that are highlighted where there's uh, mud near the intersection of Alpine and Potola. Uh, there's some channeling on Alpine Trail near um, Corte Madera. Um, I think overall the trails look like they're in better shape from the work that was done last year, uh, particularly Alpine Trail, at least in my estimation. So I think fair feedback, um, and I think there's ongoing work that we can do to continue to improve. But um, I don't think we have a situation where uh, any trail I'm aware of is, is, is actually unsafe for travel. Uh, might be a little muddy. Shoes might get a little muddy, but... Um, um, I don't know that there's a, yeah, and I a, agree a, that, a safety I mean, issue. The mud, there's only so much. When we get to that line item, I did want to follow up just a question about Sossel, but that's the only okay. um, one that I felt needed more discussion. Okay, great. Okay, any other? <laughs> Howard, are you? <laughs> oh, yeah, it might be. Is, is it yours? It, it, it is over there. I do hear. Uh, no, 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 it, you know, it sounds like there's a phone that's dialed in or something. That's all. It's, I don't, yeah. No, 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 no. No, no it's, it's, it's over there. I, I hear it too. I, I hear what Howard hears. But I, I'll, I, check, I'll check around. I think we can. I think we can keep going. I don't think it's going <laughs> to block us from from continuing our meeting. Okay, and I know a, a couple of us have to leave uh, right at the top of the hour. Uh, okay, so any other folks on the call for oral communication? Uh, there's no one that has their hands raised. Okay, great. Okay, we will move on to. Um, Old business, uh, approving the minutes from last meeting. Any um, any corrections to the minutes that anyone has? Yeah. I'll move to approve the minutes as submitted. Any second? Okay, Ellie seconds, all in favor? Okay. Uh, Susan, are are you? No, no, no. Did I, I did you vote? <laughs> okay. Uh, we have um, everyone uh, approving. Uh, Barb is abstaining. Are you trying to get off the committee? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, for for sure, for sure. Yes, it, it's a this is the this is the God mic. Yes, um, all right. 
<laughs> Let's keep going. I think we're fine. I'm really glad this is being recorded. Um, okay. Um, so uh, we ha I'm, I'm keeping Hawthorne's on here as just an item for us to come back and uh, continue to discuss in case there are topics to discuss. Um, so there is a meeting for the POG uh, public access working group that is happening on Thursday. Um, I'm forgetting the actual time of day. I think it's in the morning on Thursday. Um, I will not be attending, um, but- It's 6 p.m. Oh, oh, 6 p.m. It's in the evening. Uh, 6 p.m. Thank you, Sarah. Um, so that is happening. I know one of the primary um, areas of focus is on the parking. Uh, I will make a public comment that reiterates the points that we made in our letter, but I'm not planning to resubmit the letter. Um, anyone else who wants to um, submit their comments, there is a, a comment form uh, to do that. Um, but I will just have it here as a standing item in case folks have questions or uh, any thoughts that we should be conveying. Um, as far as I understand, there are no new developments that require us to take any action. Okay, um, we'll move on then to the next item, which is the trails map update. Um, Howard and I were able to sync on the areas that he had identified of things that we needed to fix. I think we're down to, uh, I have uh, a couple of areas here circled. Uh, we need to correct uh, use of Valley Oak Trail. Um, we're gonna clarify uh, the town center trails, the trails that are around the town center, uh, spring down trails, um, and do one final check for any conflicts with uh, the resolution. Uh, and we're also going to note that this is uh, a volunteer produced map. Um, so those are the final items. Um, I had a chance to catch up uh, with Dave Evans just this morning. Uh, I think we'll be able to make these pretty quickly and uh, get the map out. Um, any questions that folks have on that? Will it come back before the committee with the final changes? Uh, we can do that. Um, I was planning to, since these, these changes are relatively light um, and they're not, I wouldn't call them substantive in terms of like the overall look and feel of the map. Um, I was not planning to, but if folks would prefer that, we can we can do that. Uh, maybe just send out the list of the changes. In yeah, the map just you know for review. Okay. So yeah, we can. have a chance. Okay, and 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 the idea with the map is that um, we will post it as a sort of living document, so to speak, that we will be able to continue to make changes. You know, one of the, I think, nice features about this map is it is in digital format and it's not a drawing. Uh, so it should be a lot easier to um, affect, to, to, to make those kinds of changes. Are we making two sets, one in color with the contours and one in? Yes, so we'll have the, 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 the black and white one that removes the contours that uh, I think for those who are more familiar with the lay of the land, it'll be easier to use. And then the one that has the, uh, the contours that kind of give the uh, more, more detail. And when we post it, please um, don't post it under open space. Let's move it back to the trails and paths. Yes, 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 yes. that's a great page point. on the website. <laughs> I mean, you can have a copy under open space too, I suppose. Well, I, post it everywhere. Yeah, post it, you know. Yeah. Should be on the, on the homepage. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, since Alex is not here, um, Maybe, well, we could talk briefly about the town hike. Someone had, Barb had, yeah, emailed about the town hike. It's really because um, I went to the community wine tasting for Neely's, and I had this idea to talk to Lucy Neely, because years and years ago, the first time we did the community hike, we did it at the Pecola Vineyards, and hmm. that was the staging place, and we walked from there, and then we had lunch out. And it was really nice. And so I asked Lucy Neely if they would be amenable to having staging for a community hike there because they have to park there. And so that's a conversation I told her Alex usually runs it. And that, you know, maybe we would get get with her because it's usually November we do it. But I think that could be a really nice way to um, integrate another part of the town, you know, and we it might require she was concerned it would cut into, they have a limited number of people that are allowed there. Mm. So we would have to work that out with the town, um, but it's not a wine tasting place. Mm -hmm. 
Well, and and you could also, I mean, people can park here and walk right up there too. To so you could you could make that I, sounds like a great idea. I think we should follow up in and out with that. We we follow up with Lucy because it, it's a win-win. I think when they had it at Woodside Vineyard, it was there was some wine involved, wasn't it? And the turnout was rather good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the following year, when not just the wine, it, it was the crowds diminished. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. a good start, though. Yeah, wine and wine and food to get people out on the trails. Uh, I, don't, I like that idea. Yeah. Yeah. It was such a social event. Yeah. So it was really lovely because you talked to people that you know you'd seen hiking the trails. Yeah, Susan. I'm 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 realizing we have to speak into the mics for the recording. Whenever you have um, an offer of lunch, even if there's no wine involved, you just get a large turnout, and that's really really nice. Because I was at that event also. Judith Hasco was, I think, chair of the trails committee at that point in time, and when we saw the the turnout, I remember we dashed over. We Judith and I didn't go on the hike. We just went to Roberts. And we just bought a lot more food. And it, it's just a lovely idea. So thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Um, and it would be nice to do it not in November, maybe. And then, you know, as the as the weather's getting better. Oh, well, our, our weather's pretty good in November. Um, uh, OK, great. Um, we'll have that as something to follow up on. Um, does anybody have any thoughts on when a good date might be for the town hall? Because we haven't done one in a long time. It feels like April, May. It happened last year. We, we, we never had it, right, the town hall? Yeah, we never had it. Um, sort of fell off the radar a little bit. Sometimes the weather can be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. can be a yeah. But does anybody have any strong opinions on when we could do it, should do it? Well, it's better when it's not too hot. So you know, uh, September, October have generally been pretty safe months. And that's when we did it, the, the triangle. Yeah. So I would shoot for maybe. There's a couple things that um, overlap. So the town picnic, I think, is in October. Yeah. So you have to be careful which weekend you choose. Um, we can always do more than one, too. It's a pretty. November, you take, I think, too much of a chance. If it's a rain or cold weather. Joe, did you have something you want to say? I was just going to say that I remember that we always had it in November because there were so many conflicts with other yeah, organizations. Yep, that was the main reason. Okay. Okay, well, we'll, we'll put that on the agenda for next time, and uh, I'll get in touch with Alex to see how, how he wants to proceed. Okay, uh, we are on to item E, trail maintenance review. So, Howard, over to you. Okay, thank you, Chair. Um, I'll just go over what's attached here um, in January. And I have a couple other announcements too after this. But uh, in January, we do our normal clearing of water bar and fallen trees because of the weather. Um, it wasn't as bad as last year's uh, extreme weather. But this, these are just the normal items. Our crew, Scott, has pretty much checked, uh, had cleared all the water bars once already uh, in town. So uh, before I get into the other items, are there, um, well, I can go straight to that if you want me to, but are there any questions on this list uh, that's in the um, agenda? Um, there's a couple of bridges in the ranch that are uh, not passable <laughs> currently. Yes. Are those on the, the radar? Yes, uh, they're on my list that I'll go through right here okay. real quick. Okay. So, um, and Jacqueline, did you have one? Yeah. So dur during that uh, the the big windstorm, uh, we did have uh, a couple of large trees that fell in the ranch, and uh, uh, by chance they happened to fall on two bridges, two of the pedestrian trail bridges. Um, what are the chances of that happening? But it did. Mm -hmm. So uh, w uh, they are essentially on Valley Oak, separated by almost several hundred feet only. Uh, so the the trees did come from private property. So we are working with the homeowners and we are working with our insurance uh, company also to deal with that. So there, there, there is gonna be some time delay because uh, one of them is extensively damaged. I mean, the deck, the, uh, there's deck issues also. 
Well, so. and, and the one that is damaged that connects uh, Los Trancos Trail into the ranch is probably the most problematic because there's no, al the alternative to using that bridge is to go on Los Trancos Road further down and then come into the ranch over the emergency access bridge. So it really is a disruptive for that trail experience. The other one in the ranch, you can just walk alongside it. It's not, it, it, it doesn't really inhibit trail usage that much, but, but the one that's, that crosses the creek is the, is the biggest problem, I think. Understood. And, and, that, and the one that does connect Los Tranco, that, that is going to take some time. It, it, we're going to have to assess it. We're going to have to talk to insurance companies and then uh, also determine if, if the existing type of bridge is what we want to replace it with, with something that's rural, but there are also prefab bridges also that we consider. So there, there are some number of steps here uh, to take. Um, do we have any signage on the Los Trancos Trail side warning people that the bridge is out? I know you once you get to the bridge, obviously there's signage. Um, uh, we we could play some uh, like pre board. pre warning signs way ahead of where the bridge is. Yeah, I think that would be good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. We have. Uh, you know, we're taking right now, Scott's taking care of kind of the fallen trees and I'll go over those. There's still two trees on Eagle Trail and Toyon Trail. Uh, last week, we removed the uh, tree, fallen trees on Quilter, uh, three on Old Spanish, one on Shady Trail. Uh, the the trail near the school, we recognize that there were some drainage that came off the school property. So they're, we've talked to them about it and they're going to uh, schedule for repair uh, of that trail close to the corner of Alpine and um, Indian Crossing. Yep. Uh, and there, we're we're together. We're looking at some of the drainage in, in the area too. How it comes off the property. Um, well, I mentioned, as I mentioned, all water bars are cleaned at least once. For weeding right now, I mean, we, we typically start weeding in May. Uh, so that's that's the one things that are coming up ahead. Uh, and once again, I encourage everyone to put things on PV Connect for work. Um, in discussing with the crew, uh, one of the kind of uh, CPI things that we can look forward to doing is on the hay forks loop. We feel that there there probably needs to be some uh, contractor work up there. Uh, there's there's some ruts. Um, we're still we're looking at old Spanish that there's a minor washout over there. Uh, but ov overall, it's been pretty good. Not too many complaints on the trails. Um, one follow up item is uh, the horse signs. Um, we, we talked about horse signs a couple months ago, mm -hmm. and I t went to uh, Alpine Road, and um, we, we talked about a, a question crossing sign at Alpine Inn, but over at Alpine, I, I wanted to see where the existing equestrian signs are. So there is one coming in from Ladera. Uh, you know, there's a horse crossing sign next two miles, mm -hmm. and there's also one on Portola Road. Uh, I think it also says next two miles, too. So we could discuss it more, but I think maybe the thought process from when those were installed was that those were going to take care of the whole town because there's only two entrances into mm -hmm. town. I'll have to double check if there's one on Rascadero too. So uh, that is my report. If there's anything else on maintenance issues. Um, I also do want to mention the, uh, just the, the gate, the gates, when we're going to open the gates, the chains on the trails also, and who's going to do that. So thank you. Um, just real quick. So, well, Oh, I was gonna Go ahead. speak to that opening yeah. the trails, but it's I think it's way too early, right? Yeah. And and usually Ellie and I we we do it in tandem. We have our trails and we, but I a lot of times we don't even open them until March or April. Okay. So. And it was just a it's just comment of who who's closing and who's opening. Um, Ellie and, and Susan and are still yeah. on Not, point. Susan and I. Okay. Um, we should also do a quick look at their, how those posts are. I know someone had mentioned to me that there was a post on, I think it's Deer Path Trail that was not in great shape yeah, for one of them. them. Yeah, we should. Um, you also mentioned capital improvements. You have the list. We right. should, when should we produce our sort of prioritization for capital improvements? Should we do that next meeting? At, at the next meeting, yeah, because yeah. we'll be, by, by next meeting, we'll you know, potentially maybe dry weather is coming, but we have to prepare those things. Okay, so we'll we'll put yes. that on the agenda for next. Okay, and so I'll put out a request for people to bring whatever they have. Howard, do you have any gut feel for the amount of costs for the Hayes Field loop? 
not at this moment. We're going to get quotes for it. It's not a hundred thousand dollar job, though. No, 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 no. It's it's a three day job with a small crew. Is what we're predicting. Okay, Jacqueline. Okay. Um, yeah, I just wanted to revisit, and I guess it's a question for both Joe um, and Howard. At that part of I, I, that's the Sossel Trail, the top part where we know every year it erodes quite badly. That deep divot, right, because the Sossel Street is concrete, and then it rolls into. Um, and I mean, Caroline did reach out to me. I that one I do agree as it's just an ongoing every year. It's quite an issue, and I completely understand. It's like you just put a cone up, right? I see the cone, but the cone stays there for a few months because if you fill it now, it's just going to keep happening with the rain. I know we talked about it on the, but I just can't remember if that made it on the capital improvement for this year, or it just seems like an area that the town might save money and save work in the long run if we, if a solution was made so that every year it doesn't, right? Because the it's about this deep that it's just a big divot and it is a trail that kids do bike on. I just didn't know where yeah, that was definitely said. included. That was definitely included in the last right. submission. That's what I thought. So I just didn't know where that was. And is that something you guys have thoughts around or is it like bringing in an outside contractor or what the time is it where the is? asphalt um, joins the dirt? Yeah. So it's just, it comes right and it's coming down a hill. So the water just comes so fast and it's not, I mean, listen, mud, all that happens, but it is a pretty, it's about that deep and it's just like, yeah. and it's right in the center of the trail. Um, and I just know it happens every year and then you've got to fill it every year. So I just, I don't know what the solution is, but some sort of right drainage. Um, and I just didn't know if it had been any further looked into because I knew we'd ask for it to be on or suggested it would be on. Yeah, so the process, when we submit the, the request, it seems like we're, no, we're not involved after that. Is that right, right Howard? <laughs> and then is that just all yours? Yeah, when you, when you submit it, I mean, you can comment on the work after. I thought we did some work on Sossel Trail. I thought so. I well, it did. seems like there was work done on the right. lower portion of yeah. it, but sure. not this particular issue. And, and, and so what I would argue, what, I, what I've seen happen the last two years is a cone goes up around this time of year because there's a severe ditch that's formed, and that stays until the rainy season's over. And then, yes, they, the crews do come in and do a nice job of then filling that in and fixing it, but it's a Band-Aid, right? So then we were good from May till October, and then it just starts happening again, and then you're about four months with their just a big orange cone. So it's just a, right, it, it just, to me, didn't seem like the best solution to just kind of have it. to. Yeah, it seems like we had, could have a more last year, we had some significant issues, for example, on Alpine Trail, but those fixes seem to have held this year, um, except for the one that was just mentioned on, uh, likely caused by the uh, construction of the school. But it seems like on Sawzall, that those fixes don't last. And so maybe we need to take a different approach. Yeah, okay. Um, I'll, uh, if you could send me some pictures, because I, I know that we had a crew out there. And the one thing we did talk about, if you recall, was um, we were to talk to the neighbors, uh, but it, it ended up, um, I think we were internally talk, indicating that we would talk to the neighbors, but to not, you know, Scott went out to talk to all the neighbors and they made some improvements because the drainage there is from private property that comes onto the trail. So it's like, I, I'm sure part of it is, but for sure, part of the issue is you've got Sossel Road, right? That comes like this and then the trail. So it's, it's definitely just running off the road. I happen to live right around the corner from okay, it, so I okay. see it all the time. But um, when you say anyway. Sossel Road, you mean that piece of asphalt that's there? Is that what you're talking about? That's on the Sossel Well, trail. you know, Sossel is a, uh, a dead, dead, a dead end. end. Dead, dead, dead end. Dead end. Into, then there's a the gate, and you, but then the trail comes off to the left, but it, the trail immediately changes to dirt right next to the sloped pavement, right? So it just makes But you're talking massive. about that sloped pavement. That's where it's. That's, I, I mean, again, I'm not a, you know, I don't know if that, but to me, that seems for sure a big part of the issue because the water comes running so fast down there and then it hits the dirt and it just makes a, but if you go walk it, I mean, it's like this deep uh, ditch. You, that is that that you were talking about up at the top, right? Where the beginning of Salsa Trail? The beginning trail. of the trail. Okay. Yeah. I thought you were further down. No, I mean, the okay. I mean, further down the trail, it gets muddy like any of our trails, but okay, not, it's at, it's um, at this top. is a yeah. big erosion. Yeah, and then yeah. it drops deep. Yeah. yeah, and that's the part that, to my understanding, was what we were suggesting needed oh. some more permanent yeah. 
and, yeah, la and previous. last year there was a bunch of damage on the lower part yeah. that got fixed, but maybe That's this upper part did not. It get. was the lower part that I think we I emphasized. Okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, but I can. But good point. Okay, send good. another picture. I just thought in the long run it might save actually the town some hassle of having to deal with it every year, but. If, um, yeah, so we'll, we'll look at that. If you could send me some pictures so yeah, we can sure. exact, locate the exact spot. Um, one of the other things that occurred to me while you were talking is, should we reach out to MidPen on the issue at Alpine in Portola? Because uh, that trail is muddy because of runoff from Hawthorns. It's not, mm -hmm. it's not muddy because of anything, any town property or anything else. Yeah, I, I can I can reach out to them and see what they can do on the drainage situation. It is a natural topography there. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if if any water was shifted or not. I don't I don't believe so. Mm -hmm. uh, but we could we can take a look into it. Yeah, it just seems like because there is just prior to that, if you're coming from Corte Madera School, there is a drainage that maybe they could use a water bar to redirect or something because it is it's quite muddy. Okay. We'll take a look into it and I'll contact MRO. Are, are you talking about the section where the the trail comes down to the road? The, so that is in the town's road right away. So that would be a town trail. If there's private property um, drainage coming onto it. I, I think it's if. If it's naturally flowing, yeah, if they haven't done anything to concentrate it or, or divert the natural flow, then they may be off the hook. It may be our problem. Yeah. Okay. But you know, I think the if you just step back and look at it, that is engineered wrong, right? The angles that you come down, the the way the trail takes off again to go towards Los Trancos, it really needs a better uh, engineered fix. You know, some steps, something like that. So I, so maybe it is a candidate for capital improvement. Yeah. Uh, plus a discussion with mid pen. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Um, any other thoughts, feedback on trail maintenance? I'll, I'll just say I appreciate how quickly most of the trees have been addressed. I think it's been quite, quite, quite fast. Thank you. I'll pass that on to Scott. Yeah, and the and the harder ones, they're understandable. Like the one that's on Eagle, it's relatively easy to get around, but it's a it's a pretty hefty tree. Uh, it's gonna... Has it damaged the trail on Eagle? Uh, I don't think it damaged the trail. It did. It did come down where there is that. Uh, there was that erosion, but it, the tree fell across the trail. Well, I've seen it from the road. Yeah. I walked the dog up the road, and, but I couldn't see if it was obscuring the trail. You can get around it. You can get around it pretty easily. Yeah. Um, okay. So we'll go on to new business. The only new business we have is we need to uh, nominate and elect committee officers for this year. Um, so I'll open it up to discussion for um, anyone who uh, wants to um, nominate anyone. I'll say I'm happy to continue on as chair. Of our I nominate Fred uh, Leach as chair. Thank you, Fred Leach. I was going to say. Um, I think our tradition is typically that we do two years uh, and then we then we rotate. So happy to continue doing that if that's what folks want. Um, I know Liz is not here, um, and I believe she is not interested in continuing on as secretary. Um, so I will open the floor then. That's too bad because I thought she did a very good job. I think um, she, her her work um, changed from last year, and so now, for example, I think she's traveling for work today. Um, so anyone want to make, I've nominate, well, is anybody particularly interested in vice chair? Because I will nominate, I'll, I'll nominate Gary. Okay. Um, I think both in terms of order, we have to do the chair first. So uh, I'll nominate uh, Fred um, for chair. Do we have a second? I'll second the motion. The so do I take the, do I then ask for the vote or do you ask for the vote? You can ask for the okay. vote. Okay, uh, all in favor? Aye. Motion carries. Okay. Great. Uh, motion carries. Okay. All right. I will be chair for another year. Uh, for vice chair, I'll, I'll nominate uh, Gary. Unless anyone else is particularly I'll interested. I'll second that to the nominating position. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Uh, secretary nominations. Jacqueline. 
<laughs> so I feel bad acknowledging this, but I actually did tell Fred that thank you, but um, I was planning on actually stepping down from the committee. Um, um, I am happy to stay on through the spring, but I am then traveling June and July. And next year, I'm really planning on focusing my volunteer efforts at the school and our president of our PTO um, and just taking on more there that I'm really enjoying. And so I do want to kind of just focus those efforts there next year. So thank you. But yeah, I'm going to abstain. <laughs> can chat GBT do minutes yet? Yeah. Can, can chat, chat can we, can we, can we get an AI? I don't know. Uh, we'll have to maybe <laughs> ask uh, the town uh, about that. Um, Anyone else interested? Ellie, you want to return to secretary? I think I did it for many years. Yes, you did it for many years. So did Susan. Mm -hmm. well, did you? <laughs> okay. Jacqueline, would you will it be willing to do it until you step down? There's something about the job of secretary that people don't want. What is that? What's the hurdle? Well, now it's, oh, it's all work. it's all action minutes, so <laughs> it's, it's really it's it's not as much work as it used to be, right? Because yeah. you, you now that we have the recording, you really don't have to go into every detail. Yeah. And if you look at what the town does, um, I think they're getting much better at that, doing it that way. Other, um, you know, uh, governing bodies as well. So it, you, there's lots of examples out there now. So it might be as simple as all you need to do is say the the roll call. Um, and then the actions that were taken, we, we, we approved our minutes, we discussed this, we discussed this, we took action on this, we adjourned. They can really be almost that simple now. So um, it, it's, and Sarah may want to chime in if I'm getting, um, I'm going the wrong direction with this, but um, it's not that much work as, like it used to be. You be willing to I'm, I'm happy while to you're... do it the next two months. Okay. I well, was then... not taking. Was anyone taking notes today? <laughs> uh, I have. I have some notes. I have some notes. Uh, I will not I listen make... to the recording. Yeah. Gary, recording. I'm just going to chime in to say yes. I agree with that, and it's to the purview of the committee if they want to do action minutes or detailed minutes. So, um, action minutes, as you just said, are very brief. Um, you know, typically in a meeting like I'm observing today, it would be less than a page. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm nominating Jacqueline then for secretary. I'll second. Sure. So am I just, but it's like written, I'm just acknowledging I'll do it through May. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, when you step down, you step or when, down. Whenever it's, you it's step over. Down. <laughs> All right. That's fine. Uh, I'll have to favor? find somebody who Aye. wants to be a secretary. <laughs> okay. All those in favor? Aye. Okay. We'll have that. Uh, that was unanimous. Um, okay. <laughs> okay, great. Um, that was all of our uh, new business. Uh, so we will, uh, our next meeting is scheduled for March 20th. Uh, that's back to the normal time. Um, uh, there are a few folks who asked, uh, this is a, listed as a special meeting. So anybody who's uh, uh, listening, it's not it's not special in the sense that there was a special topic. It's any any time we reschedule from our normally scheduled time, it is uh, referred to as a special meeting. Um, so, um, if uh, you um, can't make March twentieth, let me know, uh, and we can we can do a, a different date. Howard, did you have um, something you want to add? Yeah, I, I just wanted to know that there's two hands uh, raised uh, online. Oh, okay. Um, for the um, we don't have any particular topics. I mean, we can, we can go to them very quickly. Okay, there there is a phone number 7562. Go ahead. Good morning. Um, this is Caroline Bertongan again. I was trying to make a comment when uh, we were discussing the trail, the Southwell Trail. Um, I don't think the repairs on the bottom actually uh, were... Um, done properly because now we have drainage from Woodside Priory that is also uh, going into that trail. And I hope that which pi pictures were sent to Public Works, uh, there's also the Iroquois Trail and that is the connection between Georgia Lane um, all the way to Iroquois Street or, um, and that is uh, Ormondale. And it's, 
I think it's a very simple issue that can be solved by putting a gravel or something on there. But um, we cannot walk that crossing. We cannot walk that trail for several months. So hopefully Public Works will take that in consideration and put that on the capital improvements as well. Thank you. I mean, I, I, yeah. I, 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 walk, I, I walk that almost every day. Um, it's so just a little there's, bit there's some muddy. Mud. There's some mud for sure, but it's I would not I would not describe it as impassable. Um, okay, thank you for those comments. Uh, I see Dave Evans. Uh, you have raised your hand as well. What's up, long time listener, first time caller? Thanks for having me on the show. The um, the, I'm sorry, this is the map guy. So uh, one thing I want to clarify uh, from the current meeting minutes and. Um, trying to wrap this up is what language we want on dog leashing. We've gone through a whole bunch of permutations. The notes from last meeting suggest, quote, dogs must be on leash. I just wanted to confirm that before I punch it into the changes. I think that's where we landed. Yeah, Susan, this was, can you, can you turn your mic on? San Mateo County has a leash law. And I think that the formal wording was no dogs on public trails which leads to the interpretation. I mean, um, dogs must be on leash on public trails, um, which leads to the interpretation that do they have to be on leash on the way to public trails? Uh, well, of course, dogs need to be on leash everywhere except private property and maybe a dog park. So yeah, we, we need to have all dogs must be on leash. And if we want to cite the, um, if we want to cite why they need to be on leash, we can, but I, I that that's where we all landed. Yep. I think that's, that's great. Yeah. It's Dave, definitely the simplest. I think we, we, one point we had San Mateo County requires dogs on leash in all public spaces, which is a bit of a mouthful, but maybe more specific, but we can go simple. That's better. Right. I mean, it's a map. So I think, yeah. you know, keeping it simple is less is more. So to Beautiful. Yep. Thanks y'all. And Another thank you to Dave for all the work that he has done on yeah, thanks, on Dave. the map. It's uh, oh, it's pretty a awesome. Uh, tote bag, uh, you were the you know the third caller, so it's, <laughs> yes. you, you missed out <laughs> <laughs> every time. Okay, uh, any other hands that are raised? No other hands. Okay, uh, that gets us through all of our items. All right. Would anybody like to move to adjourn the meeting? Or <laughs> yeah. moved? Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, we are adjourned at nine forty-two. Thank you all. Thank Thank you, Sarah. Thank you.